Good morning, children. Our topic for Health 4 is all about common communicable diseases. Say it again. Common communicable diseases. With a learning target, identifies communicable diseases. Are you ready to find out? Let's explore! Communicable diseases spread from one person to another or from an animal like a dog to a person. The spread often happens via airborne viruses or bacteria, but also through blood or other bodily fluids. These are the most common communicable diseases in our surroundings. First is the common cold. Common cold is one of the most common communicable diseases in the upper respiratory tract caused by a large number of different viruses led by rhinovirus. The common symptoms are sneezing, runny nose, scratchy throat, nasal congestion, watery eyes, and mucus drainage. More severe symptoms such as high fever or muscle aches may indicate you have a flu rather than a cold. Second is the cough. It's a reflex action to clear your airways of mucus and irritants such as a dust or smoke. Cough may be dry or chesty and most coughs clear up within 3 weeks. Dry coughs are usually felt in the throat as a tickle that sets off the coughing. It happens when the throat and upper airways become inflamed or swollen. No phlegm or thick mucus is produced. Third is the strep throat. It is a bacterial infection that causes inflammation and pain in the throat. This common condition is caused by Streptococcus bacteria. Strep throat can affect children and adults of all ages. However, it is most likely common in children between the ages of 5 and 15. Sneezing and coughing can spread the infection from person to person. Fifth is the influenza or flu. Flu is one of the most contagious respiratory illnesses caused by influenza viruses. It can cause mild to severe illness and at times can lead to death. Some people such as older people, young children, and people with certain health conditions are at high risk for serious flu complications. The symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle pain, headache, fatigue, and vomiting. That is why you have to be more vigilant if the following symptoms of the flu are experienced or observed. Fifth is the dengue fever. It is one of the most communicable diseases here in the Philippines. It is a mosquito brain disease caused by a virus. Dengue fever is mainly spread by the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes. Dengue fever is characterized by the rapid development of a fever that may last from 2 to 7 days with intense headache, joint and muscle pain, and a rush. Mild bleeding of the nose or gums may occur in some cases. More severe symptoms include loss of appetite, vomiting, high fever, difficulty in breathing, and abdominal pain. Sixth is the malaria. It is caused by a parasite called the plasmodium, which is transmitted via the bites of infected mosquitoes. In the human body, the parasites multiply in the liver and then infect red blood cells. Malaria is spread by the bite of an infected Anopheles mosquito with certain malaria species 
dormant forms can be produced which may cause relapses of malaria months to years later. Malaria may also be transmitted by transfusion of blood from infected people or by the use of contaminated needles or syringe. Let's proceed to number 7, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, or shall we say TB, is an infection caused by bacteria that usually affect the lungs. This bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis can be passed on to another person through tiny droplets of saliva spread by coughing and sneezing. Even the accidental spread of saliva through laughing, singing, and spitting can pass on the TB bacteria. In the Philippines, TB is the number six leading cause of death with 73 Filipinos dying every day of tuberculosis. Number 8. Ringworm It is common especially among children. However, it may affect people of all ages. It is caused by fungi and it can be affect your skin on your scalp, bird, body, and feet. Ringworm can spread easily from one person to another. You can catch ringworm if you touch someone who has the infection or if you come into contact with items contaminated by the fungus such as combs, unwashed clothing, and shower or pool surfaces. Number 9. Rabies it is an acute preventable viral infection which affects the central nervous system due to rabies virus. The most common reservoir in the country are dogs, although it could also infect cats, rodents, bats, and other warm-blooded animals or domesticated and wild animals. Person-to-person -person virus transfer can occur when saliva droplets are dispersed in the air or upon beating although this rarely happen rare rabies could be treated if the signs and symptoms of rabies are not yet seen but fatal once the signs of infection appear for your activity entitled covid free prepare the materials long band paper pencil and crayons these are the procedures. First, it was reported that there is an outbreak of COVID virus in the whole world. In order to help the community where you belong, you are tasked to bottle COVID in your own little way of disseminating the information about it. Draw a poster on how to prevent each other from COVID infestation. Second, below your poster, write an essay about how can you keep yourself safe from COVID. List some activities one must do to help prevent COVID. Are you excited? Let's start. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.